So welcome to Techno Dad Life, and my name is Jeff, and so my wife is away, and we moved into a new house, and so right now, uh, our, all our networking equipment is basically set out on a long cabinet, and so a wooden cabinet, and what I want to do is put all that into a metal cabinet for a couple different reasons. So one is get everything in a smaller area, organize the power supplies and their, the, all the wires so they're more condensed. Uh, and also I want to put in a PF Sense router and so I have one of these here. So we're going to make room for that. And we'll see if we can get all these things done by the time that my wife is supposed to get back. So the first thing I did is I made sure I got any necessary power cords that I needed. I already have a cabinet for, uh, it's a networking cabinet that I'm going to be using, which has, I got a few years ago, but then never used. And so it's sitting here in the basement. I took it upstairs. First thing I did is started taking things out of it. And so out of it came some shelves. Uh, there's a, actually a Mac mini shelf too. Uh, power supplies. Basically, I used this little cabinet for storage for everything else. Uh, I did use it for different projects too. So there is a bunch of lug or pop. So there are a bunch of rack mount, mount nuts in the bottom of it, including loose ones. Uh, then I found uh, lots of cat cable, uh, basically other random stuff from uh, different projects. Uh, there was a adapter plate which had HDMI and USB ports on it which I used for a different project. I found a Raspberry Pi sink, heat sink in the bottom and then it was ready to clean out. So if you look in the cabinet you can see I have a power strip here in the back. Uh, there's already a TP-Link switch in it which is a one gigabyte switch but it has uh, PoE Plus on it, so we can power any APs that I want to install upstairs. Then I wiped it all down and got it ready to put shelves in, or at least put the shelves back in. So the first thing I did is I made sure that I measured everything with my handy wooden ruler. And so then we would make sure the shelves were in the right spot. Probably what I would do in the future is measure everything out and draw it up on a little piece of paper to make sure everything uh, is the way I want it. But for me, I didn't do that at all. Instead, I measured things, put in the shelves, put them in, see how they looked, and then took them out, took the shelves out, put the shelves back in. And so one of the things I did do was try the shelves. Uh, so they have a triangular sort of support. So I tried with the support down and the support switched over to see which side I liked. So I put them in, took them out and moved them around. I even had my daughter help me. Uh, and then we ended up taking out what she did, which she was not very happy about to say the least. Finally, after I did that a number of times with just the regular lug nuts, I switched to the rack studs, which actually are much easier to put in and out. And no, they did not pay me to say that. That is just uh, what I found. So if you're putting things in and out a lot, definitely use the rack studs. What's nice about those is they just pop in and then uh, they have the screw actually sticks out so you can hang your shelf or your whatever your rack mounting onto that and then just screw the nut on after that uh, compared to holding the computer up or the rack up and then trying to get the screw in all by yourself. Definitely much easier. So I would definitely suggest those. Next, I got some sound deadening material and this is partly to reduce the screech of the Synology NAS. And so uh, We'll get back to that in a minute, but I had to wait a day, put it in, or actually I took out the shelves again, put that back in, which took a few hours to get it all cut in place. And then I put the shelves back in. And yes, I did forget to, well, I tried to film it, but for some reason it didn't work. So basically I 
I didn't film that part, so sorry about that. So now I've got everything back in, and I put, I put the shelves back in, and then I put all the equipment in there. The PFSense router isn't done yet, but I wanted to see how well the sound damp dampening worked, and so I put the Synology NAS in there. Everything else is passively cooled, so that's really the only thing with the fan. Uh, put everything on, turned it on, and here I'll show a little video clip of it. I know you can't hear it in the video clip, but basically that high pitched screeching is the sound the same with the door open as it is closed. The clicking of the hard drives is definitely muted. What I found out is there's different types of sound editing material. And so I bought the cheap stuff, which is for cars, uh, which uh, doesn't do the same frequencies as what's required for high pitched computers. So lesson learned there. So what I decided to do was just buy some new fans for the Synology NAS. And I will do a video for that next time. In the meantime, you have a great day. Honey, what do you think of our new network cabinet? That, oh, that's it? Oh, fantastic, honey. <laughs> Thank you.